Hey guys, welcome back to another video. And if you're new here, my name is Edward Smith and welcome to my YouTube channel. And in today's video, we're going to be looking at the best budget studio monitors that you can get in 2021. So before we jump into this video, if you're someone that's interested in home studio gear or home studio equipment, or you wanna set up your very own home studio, this channel is for you. Don't forget to smash that subscribe button down below, click on the bell notification so you don't miss any of my future uploads. Secondly, the links of all these studio monitors will be down in the description below. And then last but not least, make sure you watch all the way till the end of this video because I will be doing a sound test comparison between each studio monitor. And I'll also be giving away one of these studio monitors to one lucky subscriber so for more information on that on how to enter just check the description down below but without any further ado let's get into this video and have a look at these studio monitors and see what they are all about the first pair of studio monitors that we're gonna have a look at are the Mackie CR3Xs which are an extremely popular pair of budget speakers in the home studio world Costing around $99, these studio monitors come with all the necessary cables for easy setup and some additional software for the beginner producer. In terms of look and design, the CR3Xs come in a black and green finish and a cone sized around 3 inches. You also have the option of getting the white limited edition version which looks really good as well. The next pair of studio monitors that we're going to have a look at are the Elise's Elevate MK2s, which are the biggest set of studio monitors on this budget list. Costing around $130, these studio monitors come with all the necessary cables for easy setup, not to mention the additional bass boost switch for some extra low end. In terms of look and design, the Elevate MK2s come in a glossy black finish with some unique reflex ports. When it comes to build quality, these speakers do feel and look a little plasticky, but they are solid nonetheless. At $130, these studio monitors are the cheapest 5-inch cone monitors on the market. The next pair of studio monitors that we're going to have a look at are the Pioneer DM40s, which are favorites among starting EDM producers and DJs. Costing around $150, these speakers come in a matte black finish and a 3-inch sized cone. Note that these speakers do not have TRS output connections, so for your home studio environment, these aren't the best option. In terms of build quality, they are solid and should last a decent amount of time. All cables needed for quick setup are all provided, and if you are a DJ, connecting these to your decks will be super simple. The next pair of studio monitors that we can have a look at are the JBL 1 Series 104s, which are the most common set of reference speakers for the general music listener. Costing around $130, these monitors come in a round shaped design and an all black colored finish. In terms of build quality, they are solid and feel like pure JBL quality. There is also a Bluetooth option available, but at $180, they are not really in the budget range anymore. The next pair of monitors that we're going to have a look at are the M-Audio BX4s, which are the newest set of budget monitors on the market today. Costing around $150, these speakers come with a 4.5 inch cone and clean matte black design. In terms of build quality, these studio monitors are solid with only the front panel feeling slightly plasticky. They also come with an auto switch off feature, which is a great feature depending on what you are planning to use them for. And the final pair of studio monitors that we're going to have a look at are the PreSonus Eris E3.5s, which are the most popular set of studio speakers under $100. Costing around $99, these speakers come in a matte black finish with blue 3.5 inch cones. In terms of build quality, the Eris E3.5s are super solid and will definitely last you quite a while. As a big fan of the PreSonus Eris E3.5s, I promise you can't go wrong with having a pair of these as part of your setup. So now that we've gone through each pair of studio monitors and we've had a look at the overall features and build quality, it's time to move on to the most important part when looking to get a decent set of monitors for your setup. And the only way to figure that out is by doing a sound test. Just grab a pen and paper and write it down Leave a little note and say I come around Maybe a little later I'll show you how Just hold on tight, I ain't slowing down Take me out, leave me on 
She won't wait for nobody else Just one more time Then I'll take you home I can wait, it's your call Cause you are all I want You are all I need Your love ain't lost, I'm waiting Just take my hand Just follow me As I put my hands on your body I know that I can't ever let you go I'll hold on to you I have so much to explore Cause anything will be alright Yeah, everything will be just fine Yeah, cause I hope that I can Always show you love I will just for you Never leave you all alone Cause everything will be alright Yeah, everything will be just Just grab a pen and paper And write it down Leave a little note to say I'll come around Maybe a little later I'll show you how Just hold on tight, I ain't slowing down Just grab a pen and paper And write it down Leave a little note to say I'll come around Maybe a little later I'll show you how Just hold on tight, I ain't slowing down Just grab a pen and paper And write it down Leave a little note to say I'll come around Maybe a little later, I'll show you how Just hold on tight, I ain't slowing down Just grab a pen and paper, and write it down Leave a little note to say I'll come around Maybe a little later, I'll show you how Just hold on tight, I ain't slowing down so, we've pretty much covered it all. We have looked at the features, the build quality, and the sound quality of each set of studio monitors. And now it's time for my final overview on trying to figure out which set of studio monitors is best for your setup. Overall, I have to say that each pair of studio monitors did perform pretty well for $100, $150, but some studio monitors are obviously slightly better than others. And starting off with studio monitors that really surprised me for the price, I have to say that the Elisa Elevate 5 MK2s are shockingly good for $130. Yes, they have a 5 inch cone, they definitely got a lot more low end and better overall sound than the smaller cone studio monitors, which is to be expected. But overall, for $130, because price is the main thing when it comes to purchasing these monitors, they are really fantastic. I really think that if you're looking for a 5 inch studio monitor that can give you decent sound at $130, which is the cheapest at around a 5 inch monitor, the Elisa's Elevate. MK2s are fantastic. When it comes to studio monitors under $100, I will always have to recommend the PreSonus Eris E3.5s as I've done so many sound test comparisons with the studio monitor compared to other studio monitors and for me it always just comes out on top. It's really clean sounding, it's great for a reference type studio monitor. I would never really recommend studio monitors like this for full on music production. Maybe the Elisa's Elevate 5 because it has a bigger cone, but for general referencing and for a clear sound even if you want to use it for music production as referencing the Eris E3.5s are amazing. If you are a DJ and you're more into EDM type music where you want a little bit more low end and bass you really want to feel that kick drum or you just want to have a decent set of speakers to connect to your decks while you're practicing the Pioneer DJ DM40s are really really good. They have a really nice low end for the cone size that it comes with and I really enjoyed this to a nice flat frequency response when it came to listening to the music. One thing though that I did mention when I went through each set of studio monitors is that in terms of a home studio setup, they don't really have any TRS connections, which isn't a nice addition if you do end up going for a more expensive type setup because you really do want TRS inputs when it comes to connecting studio monitors. But for a DJ looking to get a nice set of studio monitors on a budget starting out, or just some speakers to connect to your deck, these Pioneer DJ DM 40s are perfect. And the last three pairs of studio monitors that I felt did a very good job but didn't really stand out from the rest were the Mackie CR3Xs, the JBL1 Series 104s and the M-Audio BX4s. The M-Audio BX4s are obviously a bigger cone studio monitor, not close to the Elisa's 5 inch studio monitor which is even cheaper. And yes it looks nice but there's one feature that really doesn't do it for me which is that auto switch off feature where when I was using these studio monitors I was listening to music as soon as I leave and just come back for maybe a minute or two they've switched off and I have to switch them back on again and it's just a little bit of a hassle which I don't like and it's not a thing for me but if you're someone that's looking for that feature they could be a decent set of studio monitors for you and when looking at the Mackie CR3Xs a great set of sounding studio monitors for under $100 they do 
every now and then have a little bit of a hiss, which is not something I'm a big fan about. But for under $100, them and the PreSonus Eris E3.5 has always been kind of bouncing around in terms of the competition. So you can't go wrong with them, but that hiss could be a problem for a lot of you. And then last but not least, the JBL One Series 104s. JBL studio monitors, great if you get the MK305s, those kind of studio monitors, but for these, I have to say they sound very, very muddy, not clear at all, really for just the general listener. It's not really a set of studio monitors I would prefer in a home studio setup because your sound isn't clear at all, and they are quite expensive for what you're getting. They cost around 130 to 140 bucks, so in my opinion, for that price, there are definitely a lot more better options to go for. So that brings this video to an end of the best budget studio monitors that you can get in 2021. Just a reminder that the links of all these studio monitors are down in the description below. Secondly, don't forget to enter the giveaway. All the information is down in the description below as well. And then last but not least, if you have any questions about today's video, just leave a comment down below and I'll try and get back to you as soon as I can. But other than that, thank you so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, please do give it a thumbs up. And if you loved it, subscribe down below. And I will see you for another video next time.